Revoice Pro 4 expands on the already great vocal timing and tuning functions found in Vocaline Ultra with more advanced timing and pitch alignment technology, including cutting edge tools for things like vibrato and sibilance editing, transient protection, warp markers, and a natural sounding vocal doubler. In addition to pitch correction and doubling, you can also create process groups in Revoice Pro so that you can change the alignment settings for a whole vocal stack all via a single panel. Now new in version 4.3, there's a new ARA or Audio Random Access Revoice Pro Link plugin for Logic, allowing for instantaneous bi-directional transferring of audio to and from Logic Pro. Let's listen to this example of some vocals that need some work. Actual matter of fact is you don't love me like I love you. Actual matter of fact is you don't love me. So they're a little bit rough. Now I'm going to start by calling up the new Revoice Pro Link plugin. Now the new autoplay before capture feature is fantastic. It means no more having to press play and then stop before capturing audio. We can access or even launch Revoice Pro directly from here. Now back in Logic Pro, I simply have to hit the capture audio button, but there's a choice of what we want to have happen. We can have it capture and make and perform an audio performance transfer function immediately based on your last used preset or make a doubler function or a warp function. Here I'm gonna choose capture only. And with these tracks all selected, I'll press that. And if I switch back to Revoice Pro, we'll see that all the tracks have been transferred colored properly and even named. So let's listen to it here. Actual matter of fact is you don't love me like I All right, so we hear all the problems intact. Now I'm gonna hit B to bring up the new process window. And here I'm gonna use an APT and I'm gonna use the lead vocal as the guide and my range is gonna be the selected audio. I'm gonna create a new process group here and I'm gonna choose a preset and there are a whole bunch of new factory presets with Smart Align, which is another new feature in 4.3, which we'll look at a bit later in this video. But for now, I'm gonna choose tight timing only. So the lead vocal is gonna be my timing reference or guide track. The vocal double is my first dub, and I'm gonna need three processes to affect the remainder of the tracks. So let me press the new process button, and there it's been corrected. Here's my new process group. I can hear the guide and the align tracks. Actual matter of fact is you don't love me like I love you. Actual. Sounds fine. I can even bring up the process control panel if I want by hitting P and making some changes. Maybe I want to make the timing a little bit looser. They'll all correct all at once. Now, here's the great part. Back in Logic, they're all transferred already. So let me just play them back. Actual matter of fact is you don't love me like I love you. Actual matter of fact is you don't love me. Now let's create another process group for these three response vocals. So with these selected, I'm gonna call up the Revoice Pro Aura plugin again. And again, I'm just gonna hit capture audio. And in this mode, it's gonna bring it directly into Revoice Pro for me. There are the three new groups. And let's do the same thing. I'm gonna hit B to bring up the new processes and I have my same preset called up and here I'm going to use vocal response as the guide track and vocal response high as the dub and here we're going to need two processes I'll hit new process it's done here's my new group love like I love you and again I can play with the timing here by hitting P to bring up the control panel and make the timing maybe a bit looser on this one or change any of the other parameters that I want. And again, now it's all automatically transferred back into Logic. So let's just hit play and audition these. Love like I love you. Love me at all. And everything all together. Actual matter of fact is you don't love Now, when I save this Logic project and close it and reopen it, it's automatically going to save and relaunch the Revoice Pro session for me in the background in case I want to make any changes to any of these 
process groups at a later date. And to make the Revoice Pro changes permanent within Logic, we use the usual bounce and place functions. The APT function in Revoice Pro 4.3 now has Smart Align, and when this is enabled, it can align audio which contains large gaps in the guide or dub audio. So this way you can align longer performances which you previously had to break into segments. Now here's a part with a lead vocal and some harmonies that mirror parts of the lead vocal, but not all. You need to be moving. To the beat, move your feet and get down. And you can hear the timing is pretty sloppy. You, you have, have to be groovy. Yes. To the beat, you can see move it as well. And get down. So we're going to use this as you got the to be groovy. guide. Yes. To the so very sloppy. We want to adjust the timing of all these segments to the lead vocal. So I'm going to select all of the audio here. And then from under the audio menu, I'm going to go edit with Revoice Pro. I'm going to launch Revoice Pro directly from this link plugin and then use the Show Revoice Pro button to bring it to the front. So all the audio is now in Revoice Pro, automatically transferred, and all the names of the tracks transferred along with it. I'm going to press B to bring up the new process window, and I'm going to create a new APT to align all the dubs to the guide, and I'm going to put them in a process group. So here, from the presets menu, I'm going to go to the new Smart Align, and I'm going to go Tightest Timing. And I'm not using Pitch because... These are all harmony parts. I'm going to create a new process group, use the lead vocal as my guide, and I need four processes starting with harmony A. And with that done, let's create the new process group. I can audition them. You need to be moving, yet yeah, to the beat. Move your feet and get down. That sounds pretty tight. You got to be grooving, yet. Yeah. And we can easily audition in Revoice Pro. Now the audio is automatically transferred back. You need to be moving, yeah, to the beat. Move your feet and get down. And let's listen with the accompaniment. You got to be grooving, yeah, to the beat. Move your feet and get down. The Revoice Pro plugin has two modes of operation within Pro Tools. The first is the Quick Mode, which uses a temporary Revoice Pro session, and it can only contain one APT or doubler process at a time. And as such, it's great for aligning one track at a time. So here's the lead vocal and this harmony part. You need to be moving, yes, to the beat. So you can hear that the timing down. is a bit off. And here's the next phrase coming up. You got to be grooving it too. So to operate this for one track at a time, we go to the audio suite menu and under Synchro Arts, we're going to call it the Quick APT and it remembers the most recent one I used. And here I'm using one of the Smart Align functions since this dub track does have gaps in it compared to the lead vocal. So this is a simple process. I'm going to select the lead vocal track and press Capture Guide. And now I'll select this one and press Capture Dub. And now I'll select an empty track here at the end and then choose Render Aligned. And there we go. So I'll solo this one instead of the Harmony C and let's listen to the two of them together. You need to be moving, yeah, to the beat. Move your feet and get down. So it's much better. You got to be grooving, yet yeah, to the beat. Great timing. Move your feet and get down. Here's the next phrase. You got to be grooving, yet yeah, to the beat. Move your feet and get down. Yeah. So that's great for one track at a time. Now, the Revoice Pro Link plugin is better for capturing multiple files. So here, next to the Quick APT or Quick Doubler ones, we have the Link plugin. And if... Revoice Pro is not launched in the background. You can launch it directly from here. And I'm going to start a new session or I can pair it with an existing one. So here, I'm going to use Capture Only, but we have the same options for doing a quick APT with a preset or a quick doubler and so on. But let's go to Capture Only. And I'm going to select the lead vocal track. And I'm going to go Capture Audio. Now I'll select the first harmony and choose the next track in the empty Revoice Pro session and capture that. And here, I'm going to go to Add Track and do this all from the plugin. I don't have to go to Revoice Pro yet. Capture Audio. 
And now I'll add another track and then capture the audio again. And one more new track and capture the audio. So now if I switch to Revoice Pro and I can just use the show Revoice Pro button, we'll see all of our audio there. Now here I can quickly label the tracks in Revoice Pro so they match up with what's in Pro Tools. So now I can create a process as I've done in the last few examples. So I'm going to hit B to bring this up and I'm going to use the same preset since we're working with the same material. Titus timing with the smart align function. I'm going to create a new process group, lead vocal, and we're going to need four process tracks. So let's output these and we can hear the aligned results over here. You need to be moving. To the beat, move your feet and get down. Sounds nice. You got to be grooving yet. And I can always press P to bring up the control panel and make changes to timing or transient protection or any of the other parameters that I want. Getting the corrected vocals back into Pro Tools is simple. In Revoice Pro, start by selecting the track you want to bring back. For example, here's the Harmony A output track, the corrected version. So with that selected, I can then choose where I want to put it, and I can either replace the existing Harmony A with the corrected version or put it onto a new one, like, for example, this track at the bottom. Make a little selection and then press the Render Audio button, which is like the old spot function, and there the corrected Harmony A is placed there. And then be sure to remember to mute your original Harmony A and then simply repeat for the rest of the tracks. So those are some of the new features in Revoice Pro 4.3 as well. There's new legato audio support where pitch can be used to help time alignment. Sync points are back. There's now two activations per license and lots more. So check out Revoice Pro 4.3. This is Eli Kranzberg for Production Expert.